Okay, time out. Uh, the second that I pressed record to record this video, I just got like kind of super emotional because, <laughs> and just a little bit like taken back, taken aback, taken back. When you are watching this video, Craig and I will have already uh, been married. This video will be posted Tuesday, September 10th, and our wedding is September 8th. I'm leaving it to this vlog to post my final fitting of my wedding dress because Craig will now have already seen it. So this is a very exciting vlog um, and also just really crazy because we will be married. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so before I get to showing you my wedding dress, um, which was filmed, this footage was filmed uh, when Diana, my friend, came with me to my final fitting. But before I get to that, I just wanted to talk to you for a second because this is a huge thing that um, I'm going through right now and have been going through and um, quite possibly maybe you or a friend of yours is going through as well or will in the future. We are in like preparation mode right now for the wedding and um, not just like linens and photography and videography and all that stuff, but a huge thing that I have um, been doing is trying to mentally prepare myself for the day. So if you don't know, my dad passed eight years ago. He passed in 2011. So the past eight years I've known that my dad you know, it was not gonna be there at my wedding. I thought that I was fine because it's like, I knew that this was gonna be a thing. But um, at the past few months, getting closer to my wedding day, it's become more and more difficult. And also his mom, who I was very close with, and my grandparents on my mother's side who have been there since um, I was born, uh, they lived with us um, the whole time I lived, even through college, I lived at home. So. The past few months have been more difficult and I was kind of like, why is this difficult? I knew that they weren't going to be here, like, I'm fine, it's fine, when in all actuality, um, deep down somewhere, I was not okay with it and I think I was just like suppressing it and um, the past few months it's been like really affecting me. My therapist brought up a good point, um, side note, I've been in therapy for, I want to say six months now, once a week, which has been like so helpful because I deal with lots of anxiety, stress, um, and we've been doing lots of um, grief therapy, which has been wonderful. And she brought up this huge point that I didn't even think of, um, and it totally made sense. Um, this is the first time that my dad and um, my grandparents are like truly needed. So their presence not being there is like very, very profound. And I mean, there's been like huge things in my life that like are monumental. Like I moved to New York City and things like that. But my wedding day is the first time that he's actually truly needed. And um, and I think that, that, that that's what has been like very difficult. So to help me not uh, be a blubbering, blubbering, <laughs> blubbering mess on my wedding day because I want to be focused on like Mary and Craig and all the family that I do have is there and it's going to be like filled with love. But I definitely do have this like hole that is like dug out where like, you know, my dad is not going to be there and um, and dealing with that and, and you know, trying to be okay with that. One of which is noticing what might be too difficult for me. For example, someone said that at their friend's wedding they had like empty chairs for the people who would have sat there. And um, I immediately was like, okay, how do I feel about that? Should I do that? And immediately I was like, nope, because <laughs> I know that it would be too hard for me to like look and see empty chairs of, you know, my dad and my grandparents. So just doing things like that, like what is, okay for me and what may not be okay for me because I don't want to <laughs> trigger anything that's like too much. But things like we're having a memorial table or I'll have pictures, you know, of my dad and my grandparents and Craig's grandmother too. So I think doing little simple things like that, like telling the DJ to play a couple songs that my dad loved. I'm walking down the aisle to Brown Eye Girl, which was like a song that my dad always used to sing to me. So little things like that, <laughs> that I can, that will be fine, that will be lovely the day of, but just listening to myself and um, 
seeing what might be too difficult and trying to avoid because I would love to have a lovely wedding. Also another thing that um, I have yet to do but I'm going to do is write a letter to my dad. Basically just journaling almost but in a letter form talking about me getting married and how excited I am and wish that I could he could be here and um, and it's also very comforting because I I just have this feeling that that he'll read it somehow and also just lovely because it'll be an, an extra like release. So I'm just trying to be very, very kind to myself. I still get to, you know, get married to Craig and be surrounded by everybody who's still here. And my mom gets to walk me down the aisle and that is so exciting and I'm so excited for that. <sighs> yeah, exciting times. Okay, so <laughs> the rest of this vlog is going to be my last fitting for my wedding dress. I hope that you enjoy it and come along. Where are we going next, Diana? Insert like the drum roll. Really spice it up. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, <gasps> Perfect. Thank you. You know, I, you know. <laughs> Cute little thing. Look at it. I just zoomed in on your bum. Oh my god, wait, look over your shoulder at me. Wow. Oh my god, perfect. These are perfect, everything is perfect. Ready to go home. Okay. <laughs> Let me. Um, wow. literally gonna cry. There's water. It's a bit salty. Oh my god, I like can't breathe. This is like this crazy like time jump thing because when you watch this, we, we will be married when you're like we're married when you're watching this video. But right now, presently, me sitting here talking to you guys, shooting this video, it hasn't happened yet. And oh, I'm just so excited. I'm so excited. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> oh, okay. Mm, I love you, I love you. And thank you so much for coming on this journey with me. You mean the world to me. And so does Craig, and so does my mom, and so does my family and my friends. And um, yeah, I'm very thankful for everyone and you. So yeah, okay. I love you, I love you, and I will see you next week.